Hi guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we're working on, we got a BMW shock here. The car was hit and we need to replace the shock as you can see why it's bent pretty bad. So we need to remove the spring, the coil over spring and put it on this shock, on this strut actually. And we're going to show you how to remove the springs out of the strut and install them on a new one. Most of the cars, they're pretty much identical, so stay with us to see how we're going to do that. We got the two, these two, okay, it's from, we borrowed it from O'Reilly, so we have like, what, like two days to give it back to them and it doesn't cost you anything, so you're pretty much using the two for free. And for this purpose, we'll need a 19 millimeter socket to spin the two right here so we can compress the spring, actually. Okay, so what you need to do, perfect situation, you need to get the, that two right here in the spring and lock it like that with this one. And you need to have two of them. But that BMW has extremely short springs, so it will be hard to do that, so we need to do the top one. But it's, it's a little bit on the dangerous side, so try just to get it in the springs if you can. And this one, okay, you need to go 180 degrees from each other, like that and install the second one as well and just use the 8, 19 millimeter socket with these two okay just to push it in like that okay now you need to start compressing okay you can see how it's compressing okay now you need to go on the other side you need to do a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other side you can use a ratchet you don't have to use the impact for that purpose it's just easier for us we have it right now You can see how much it's compressing and now we need to do this side again so we need to alternate left and right okay more more okay now you can see we got it compressed as much as we can you need to make sure that the spring is loose and now right here in our case it's with 22 millimeter socket right here so you can take it off with the impact but be careful, never stay in the way of the nut and the spring. Always be on the side of it. Okay, like that. Okay, we got it off. Okay, the nut came off. And now, what you can do is actually pull the shock out of there. Okay, you see that's the old shock. So that's how you remove it and now we're going to show you how to put it back together. Okay, now what you need to do, you need to pull right here. You have one bushing on most of them. So you need to pull the bushing out, this one, metal one. And you can see how it's shaped because it's going to contact this surface of the new strut. And you need to pull the rest of it and that rubber thing that the spring is laying on. Now you need to install this one. Go ahead and install this, the uh, choke absorber right there and this one now. If it's broken, you have to buy a new one because if it's broken, it means that it's not holding good and dust and dirt will get in the strut and it will ruin it pretty quick. Now, you need to align this part of the spring right here. You can see where it used to be. Okay, now you need to go through the hole again okay like that and now it's going to be pretty loose because this one we compressed it pretty much because the other shock was bent and it couldn't go all the way down and now you need to install okay this one has the spacer right here like a washer eh? okay now we need to install the bearing support okay it goes like that need to make sure that it lines up good. You need to install, most of them come with a new nut. So it's recommended to use the new nut because it's a lock nut. So it cannot get loose while driving. And now of course you can, you have to use the impact again to get it tight. And don't stand in the way again. Your head should be away from it. Okay, we installed it, we got the nut tight all the way, so if it's spinning, you have to use a hex key to hold it and there is a special socket. But, yeah, that's that's one thing about it, but if you use the impact, you eventually get it tight. 
that's why we like the impact and now you have to start start uh, undoing the spring you need to get it loose but you need to go one at, a little bit at a time on each side and make sure that the rubber seal is good here so you just go a little bit okay and now a little bit on the other side okay guys and we're at the end and we're just getting them loose now you have to make sure that the spring is going good here it's where it's supposed to be and that's how you're supposed to catch it okay right here you need to go in both and push those in so it cannot come out of there that's the safe way to do it and now in order to remove it as you can see you have to pull those things out and now you have to like move it back and forth and it's going to come out of there okay and it come out of there and as you can see guys that's a whole procedure it's not that bad but you have to be really careful how you do that because this is dangerous i mean if you don't do not do it right it did my cue that thing so you always be careful never put your head in the way arm hand something always work from the side and it should be okay but just be careful when you do that thank you guys for watching us hopefully the video was helpful and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe we upload a new video almost every day